hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, everybody. God bless you all. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow and the Motivations. I'm back with another video. Let me pour my water right quick. How's everybody doing? How was everybody Sunday evening yesterday? I hope everybody was doing good. I have my iced coffee here in the Life is Sweet cup. I have the coldest water bottle here. If you haven't gotten it, go check out the coldest water bottle. The uh, link is always in the description box below this video. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming back to see Miss Glow Glow and the Motivation. I'm back again with another video. I'm back with a breakfast video. I want to eat this breakfast. Have a little chit chat today with you guys. Give you guys a word from the Lord. Uh, well, share God's word. I'm not giving you guys a word. I'm going to share the word of God with you today. And today, we're going to be talking about uh, lean on God. And we're going to be coming from Proverbs 18, verses 10 through 15. The memory verse is, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. That's Proverbs 18 and 10. We need to know that God is our safe tower, that he's protecting us at all costs. And there's a lot of scriptures in the Bible that let us know that God is protecting us. And I just wanted to come and and talk about this this morning and share these scriptures with you guys because I know there are so many of God's people that's going through all kind of stuff and it is time that we need to know that God is with us and he's protecting us and he's, he said I will never leave you nor forsake you okay so he's with us let's say grace and get into this video Father God in the name of Jesus Lord I thank you for bringing me back here once again I thank you, God, for reassuring me of your protection, your safety. Thank you for your peace, your love, your understanding, Lord. Thank you for your, your gentleness, your long-suffering, your meekness, Lord, your temperance. I just thank you, God. And I ask that you feel me and each and everyone that watch this video with the characteristics of Jesus Christ. And fill us with the spirit of discernment, Lord, so that we will be able to discern and to know that you are with us at all times, even in our weakest time, Lord, even when we are going through something, when we think that there is no coming back from what we're going through. We know, Lord, that you are there to protect us, to guide us, to keep us, Lord, from all hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, we know that we can do all things through you that strengthen us, and sometimes we need to be, um, we, we need, um, we need to see the promises of your words to know that you are there with us, Lord. Sometimes we, our, our faith get weak sometimes, Lord, and causes us to falter, causes us to fall. But God, we are saints of the most high God. We fall down and we get back up again. And Lord, bless this food today. In the name of Jesus, take out any defilement. Let it be a nourishment for my mind, body, soul, and spirit. Let it be a help to my weight loss and not a hindrance. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, order my steps in your word and direct my path today. Tame this tongue of mine. Create within me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Lord, bless me to fully, I ask that you fully, fully clothe me with the whole armor of God. So that I know that I'm shielded and protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. So hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I got a bagel. I need to be hurrying up eating. Because one thing about bagels, this thing is hard as a rock. It gets so hard. Look. You have to really... Take your time to eat bacon. Especially when you're like me and you have a swallowing problem, like my esophagus works slow. I don't have a problem with eating. I just have to take my time. Food have to go down. It goes down slow. Now, I can eat fast. 
but my food don't go down. That's why I, I get full real quick because it's they're sitting here. Look. This is what I want today for breakfast. I want something that's going to stick to me. I'm trying to make up my mind if I want to do walk for my 40 minutes this morning or if I think I'm going to walk because I plan on doing a 53 minute uh, cardio workout this evening before bed. So, I probably walk. Walking is a good exercise, so. But I'm sitting here thinking about which one I want to do. Yes, I did my workout and ate something last night. So if you guys haven't heard of Grow With Joe, she has a YouTube channel. You can follow her on all her social medias under the same name. But she's a, a, a fitness trainer. And guess who videos I work by? I work out with her. She's doing a challenge. She also have a website called Grow With Joe. She do uh, meal planning, all kinds of stuff. You have to go check her out, growwithjoe.com. And and she's doing a challenge this month. It started. Yesterday, I walked the weight off challenge, and I did it yesterday. First video, if I do the second video, which is today, I'll probably do that around 12 or 1 today. Because I'm going to do my, my evening workout video like maybe an hour before bed. Mm -hmm. So when I get through with that video, when I get through with my workout in the evening, I bath and I go straight to bed. My heart rate being calm down, my body being relaxed from that nice hot shower. And I'll be ready for the bed. So I found me some zero sugar, iced coffee, and Walmart, and some zero sugar creamer. Now I was intent to get non dairy creamer because I you know, dairy don't do me good. I'm somewhat lactose intolerant. Um, I don't like milk. I literally don't drink no milk. I have started trying to eat cereals and using almond milk, which is good. I like almond milk, but I really don't care for cereal. I'm not a cereal person. I'd rather make me something hot to eat every morning. I don't care if it ain't nothing but some oatmeal or some grits or uh, flapjack. Mm -hmm. Then I don't care for cold stuff. I think cold stuff should be as a snack to me. 
Now, that's my preference. So, there's no need nobody jumping in my comment section saying anything. It's my preference. I do not like cold food. My body nourishment likes to have warm food. I'm not a sweet person. So, so I'm not into cakes and pies and stuff like that. So, that's something you'll probably never, ever, ever see me eat unless it's maybe once a year. Unless it's for Christmas or Thanksgiving. I want it over. But I do like the fruit smoothie. The acai bowl. I mean, that's what. That's like what you'll see me eat cold. And to me, like I said, it's a snack. Yesterday, my pastor brought the word. Mm -mm -mm. Yesterday, Sunday school was so good. It was so good. Mm. I gotta find me another um. I'm thinking about stopping eating meat all together in the morning. Because I always have bacon. I can do sausages. But the kind of sausages that I like to eat. It's kind of expensive. Now, I did my workout yesterday, last night. When I tell y'all, I was so. I it was hard for me to go to sleep. It was a good workout, and I was excited to, uh, to do that challenge. Yeah, I don't know. When you ain't got no teeth in the back, and you pretty much chew on your front teeth, I can't stand for nothing to stick in my teeth. And I can't get up and go get no uh, toothpick off me now. My whole arm. Uh -huh. Y'all hear the crunch? But I think it's that kind of bakers that my granddaughter bought me. If you have young people that's in your circle, your children, nieces, nephews, whoever, please instill the word of God in them. If, you know, I'm not telling nobody, trying to force nobody into a religion. I'm just saying. Our young people need the word of God. We have so much going on in this world.
And to me, I think their focus is solely on technology. Hanging out. Smoking. Drinking. Hogging them. Uh, but they're so good though. They're called anything bagel. I like bagels though. I just know I have to take my time to eat these. That's how my food go down. Something I'm trying to think of. But I got so much on my mind today. But let me read this word. I'm still going to eat my food, guys. So if this video get like a little long, just y'all just watch it for me. Let it play. Sit it to the side and let it play. Okay? But the word is so much so important that I don't have time to focus on how long this video is. Today's we're going to be talking about leaning on God. And the question of the day is, what towers do you lean on? And how can you remind yourself to run to God, the strong tower? We're going to read from uh, Proverbs 18, and this Proverbs is actually um, um, of Psalms of David, the servant of the Lord, who spoke unto the Lord the words of his son in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hands of his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And this is when he said, told the Lord, he said, Verse starting at the first verse, Proverbs 18. That's what we're focusing on today. He said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and you are my deliverer. You are my God. You are my strength. Listen to these words, guys. Let me lay that right there. Just listen to these words, okay, and meditate on these words. Let the, let the wisdom of these words meditate Meditate on these words and let them manifest in your heart and in your life. And you will truly get the understanding of how it feels to really love God. Listen, I will love thee, O Lord God, my strength. The Lord is my rock, and God, you are my fortress. Now, I'm putting these words in here, God, okay? God, you are my fortress. God, you are my deliverer, my God, you are my strength, in whom I will trust. You are my buckler, you are the horn of my salvation, and you are my high tower, God. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemy. Call upon the Lord. Because he is worthy to be praised. The Sunday school lesson yesterday was talking about the lamb who is worthy to be worshipped. Talking about Jesus Christ, the son of God. Hallelujah. Verse 3 say, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from, so saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compass me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, and the snares of death prevented me. 
in my distress, I called upon the Lord and I cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him, even unto his ears. Hallelujah. Then the earth shook and it trembled and the foundations also of the hills moved. Even the hills became unstable, hallelujah, and were shaken because he was wroth. He had started to get angry. Come on now. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, hallelujah, and fire came out of his mouth and devoured the coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. Mm, mm, mm. And darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him <clears throat> were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds had passed. Hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered the heavens and the highest gave his voice. Hailstones and coals of of fire. Come on now, y'all don't want no angry God. Yea, he sent out his arrows and he scattered them and he shot out lightning and he discomfited them. Come on, God. Then the say, then the channels of water were seen and the foundation of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, and at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above. He took me and he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for him. When things are too strong for you, they are not strong enough for God. Hallelujah. God is strong enough to handle anything, any opposition that come your way any storms, any trials, no sickness, anything that come your way, God can handle it, okay? Remember the song say, everything that happened to me that was good, God, God, God did it. Everything that was happened to me that was good, God did it. So anything that we need God to do, he got it. He can do it. He can do all things but fail. You hear me? That I read to you um, uh, Proverbs 18 verses 1 through 17. And uh, I want to go back and read you the footnotes on this proverb. This is a very good proverb. Listen. We can have gratitude for deliverance and victory the only sure way to be delivered from the only sure way to be delivered from the surroundings evil is to call upon God for help and strength. That is the only way for us to be delivered. Listen, from any surrounding, anything, any evil around us is to call upon God because God is our strength. He told us in Philippians 4 and 13, he said, I can do, you can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Christ gives us the strength to wake up and live and see a new day. We don't wake up uh, because we wanted to wake up. We didn't wake up because of a long clock. We didn't wake up because nobody knocked on our door. We woke up because the grace and the mercy of God allowed us to see a brand new day. This brand new day that the Lord has made. And for that, I will be glad and I will rejoice in this day of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. 
I shall not want. The Lord is my buckler. The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my high tower. Hallelujah, God. The Lord is my El Shaddai. Hallelujah. The God, God is my first and my last. He is my beginning and my end. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No devil in hell can stand up against my God. Come on here, somebody. Now, listen. Let me, uh, hold on a minute, guys. Okay, listen, let me go back to the beginning once again. The Psalms 18, the first verse, that it, the, um, the note says, This psalm is almost a duplicate of 2 Samuel 22. 2 Samuel chapter 22. It may have been written toward the ends of David's life when there was peace. God is praised for his glorious works and blessing through the years. David praised God all the time. God said that David was a man after his own heart. He praised God no matter what. He praised God in his doing good. He praised God even when he did wrong. Listen, God loves us. He's a forgiving God. He's a merciful God. He's a loving God. He's a gracious God. He's a kind God. He's an almighty, all-serving God. He got your back. He got your front. He got your size. He got whatever it is you need from him. Come on, people. We got to know who God is, and we have to stand on the word of God because one day there will not be a Bible, a physical Bible that we will be able to hold and read in our hand. So this word of God right here, let me move this cup out of my way. This word of God right here, it needs to be manifested in our life, in our heart. We got to have this word in our heart, God. We need to start telling God to, to plant this word Deep in the walls of our heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it say God's protection of his peoples. Listen. God's protection over us is limitless. It's limitless. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. God's protection over you is limitless. All you have to do is put your trust. Huh? Mm, glory to God. Put your trust in the Lord. That's all we have to do, guys. Put our trust in the Lord. God's protection for his people is limitless and can take many forms. Many forms. Just when you need something, God will send somebody your way. God will send you answers through visions and dreams. Mm -hmm. David characterized God's care with five, mil five military symbols. Number one, he said God is like a rock. Number one, a rock that cannot be moved by any who would harm us. God is our rock of salvation. He's our rock of protection. Listen, can't nobody move that rock. Only God can move himself. Number two, he said God is a fortress or a place of safety for us where the enemy cannot get to us. Number three, he said God is a buckler or a shield that comes between us and the harm. He put a shield between us where no hurt, harm, or danger can get to us. Come on, guys. Here come this word now. Then number uh, four, he said, God, God is the horn, mm, the horn of salvation. Come on. A symbol of might and of power. Come on now. God is our power. Then number five, 
He said that God is a high tower. Yeah, high above our enemy. God sits high and he looks low. Come on now. If you need protection, all you have to do is look to God. Hallelujah. Look to God. He's right there to protect you. He got you covered. Yay. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to hold y'all too long, but I'm telling you something. Sometimes you got to let God have his way. We got to step back and let the Holy Spirit step up. It's not about us anymore. It's about Christ that lives inside of us. For Christ I live, and for Christ I'm ready to die. Let me tell you something. David literally described God as five pieces of military symbol. He said God was like a rock. He was like a fortress. He was like a buckler or a shield, however you want to call it. He was a horn of salvation. And he was a high tower. And the Bible say God sit it high and he looked down low, protecting us. He's watching us. He's shielding us. He, can, he will guide us. He will lead us. All we have to do is give him a chance. Honor him. Accept him. Trust him. Love him. Follow him. Live for him. Share his word. Spread the good news of God. Love his people. Love his people. I love God. And today I love y'all. And it's, it's nothing nobody can do to stop me from loving them. So all you can do is don't watch me. You can get mad, but you can't stop the love that's in my heart. Because it's the love of God. And God let me know that in order for me to make it, to live with him in eternity, I have to love his people. You guys are my sisters and brothers in Christ. We have been joined together, reunited with God through the blood of his son, Jesus. Jesus died. He laid down his life so that we can come together with God the Father so that we can become one, one with God. One. So that, listen, one day we can sup together in heaven. We can be up there and sit and talk and eat, worship God the Father, God the Son, and God, how you mind now? Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. One day, I'm going to tell y'all this song again I love. Oh, I'm going to meet my loving Savior. Oh, I'm going to meet my loving Savior one of these days. I'm going to meet my loving Savior, meet my loving Savior one of these days, oh yeah. Oh, I'm going to put on my long white robe, I'm going to put on my long white robe one of these days. I'm going to put on my long white robe, meet my loving Savior, put on my long white robe one of these days, oh yeah, oh I'm going to sit at the welcome table, oh I'm Gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. Meet my loving Savior. Sit at, no, put on my long white robe. 
sit at the welcome table one of these days. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm <clears throat> gonna eat some milk and honey. Oh, I'm gonna eat some milk and honey one of these days. I'm gonna eat some milk and honey. Meet my loving Savior. Put on my long white robe. Sit at the welcome table. Eat some milk and honey one of these days. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus is the light of my life. Jesus is my shield, my rock, my fortress. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah, is my high tower. Huh? He is my buckler, huh? my God. He is the horn of my salvation. He is my way to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for bridging the gap. God, thank you for building the bridge so that I can walk the stairways to heaven and meet my loving savior hallelujah jesus glory glory to god glory hallelujah glory to god i praise you lord i magnify you god i lift you up right now god in the name of jesus hallelujah god for you i live and for you i'm willing to die god i love you god you are my beginning and my end you are my first and my last hallelujah god Glory, how you must in the head, yes, and my now, thank you, glory to God, hallelujah, Lord, you are the, the land that I walk on, Lord, hallelujah, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hey, you my now, say, hey, you my now, what's ha, thank you, God, mm. hallelujah. hallelujah, I will cut out the hands of the enemy, awesome, hey, glory to God, it's a man that was, hey, hey, your man Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. I love you, God. Thank you, God, for being my beginning and my end. Thank you for being my way out of darkness. I thank you, God. Hallelujah for the glorious light of yours that drowned me out of darkness. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you for being that light that sat on the hill. Hallelujah. That did not hide yourself from me. Thank you, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for cleaning me up out of my mess. Hallelujah, God. When I wasn't even worthy to live, you gave me life. <laughs> you blew your life into me. You touched my heart. You touched my mind. You touched my soul. You created within me a clean spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I love you, God. For I love you, God. I thank you. Thank you for being my father. Thank you. Somebody right now, Lord, that's watching this video need a touch from you. Somebody is low, Lord. Somebody is mighty sick, God. Somebody just need to be saved right now in the name of Jesus. And I stand right now as an intercessor for you. Hallelujah. Pleading to Jesus on your behalf. Hallelujah. If you just repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, right now I declare, I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus that you are saved by the blood of the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Lord, I love you. And I thank you for being everything that I need you to be in my life and more. Thank you for each and every member of my family. I thank you for them all, God. And I ask that you save each and every one of them. That you look on every one of my grandkids in the name of Jesus. Look on them in a special way, Lord. With that special love for your babies, God. And cover them 
protect them, shield them, guide them, lead them, nourish them. God, how you my son? Hey, you my ha? Hey, you my son? Now you my not Lord, I give their birth. I give them back to you right now, Lord. Their birthright is in your hand. Do with them, Lord. Let your will be done, and my God, in the name of Jesus, let your will be done right now in their life, God. Right now, God. God said he had put a hedge of protection around them. In the name of Jesus. And he said that no arrow, no storms, no fiery dots, hallelujah, can travel through the shield that he's protecting them. He's protecting them with. Hey, 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 hey. He said those are his babies. That he entrusted us to rear and bring up in truth, hallelujah. He said, even in our shortcomings, where we lacked, where we lack to feed them and nourish them with the word of God. Hey, my God. Hey, he said he's replenishing them. God, my son, hey, and oh my God, Jesus, 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 Jesus. He said Jesus is here. Jesus is free and he's available huh? Your man, now, so, hey, for every soul that's willing to accept him, willing to be led God, hallelujah by the blood of Jesus, Masa, why not, now, hey, your man, now, he said call on him right now while he may be found my God, hallelujah Masa, now, now, hey, how your man, now, now, he said cause there one day there won't be salvation. Awesome. Now, hey, it's not going to be here. Call on him while he may be found. How you mind now, my God? Right now, Lord, I rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Satan, I rebuke you right now. I tear down every stronghold in the name of Jesus. You have no power. You have no authority in the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood of Jesus. Thank you, God, for the blood. Thank you for the blood, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Jesus is the one that we can call on. We can lean on. Read Proverbs 18. Read Psalms 23. Read Psalms 91. Hey, glory. How you man? I say, hey, you man. It's the man that want to hear your man. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Read Psalms 17. How you man? Hey, how you man? I want to hear Hey, it's a man now, ha. I hear the right, oh Lord. It's a man now, well, ho. Attend unto my cry. I said, man now, ha. Give ear unto my prayers. I said, man now, ha. That go out, not out of fine lips. I said, man now, say, hey, said, man now, now, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to God, and they are safe. All we have to do is run to God, and there we will be protected. We will be kept. Hallelujah. We will be clothed. We will be able to put on the whole full armor of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Read Psalms 18. Lean on God. We must learn to lean on God. I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakfast, motivational mukbang. I will see you guys on the next video. 
I love you guys. But I want you guys to know that God loves you more. He loves you more than anybody in your life in the world could ever love you. Run to God while he may be found. Let me tell you something. We have been living in the last days since Jesus was crucified on the cross. I don't want you to get it confused, twisted, or mixed up that we are just now living in the last days. We have been living living in the last days, hallelujah, since they crucified our Lord and Savior, since he was nailed and killed on the cross. The time is now to get it right. Get it right where you can be strengthened. Strengthened with the strength of God. Where you will be able to say you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Hey, my God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, right now, I thank you for allowing me to come back to this platform again. Right now, Lord, I speak healing, blessings, prosperity, peace, joy, happiness, gentleness, meekness, temperance, patience, long-suffering, right now on your peoples, right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, by the blood of Jesus, we have been healed, we have been delivered, we have been set free. Father God, we are no longer bound we have been free by the blood of Jesus. We are free. Free. We are free. Today, in the name of Jesus, God, I ask that you protect, bless, and shield your peoples. And Lord, help them to walk in the marvelous light. Lead them out of darkness into the light, God. Let them call on you, their high tower, in the name of Jesus. And God, I pray that you keep me surrounded. With your by your love and angels, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you all for watching. Oh, God bless. Y'all, it ain't nothing like having God as your Savior and head of your life. Until the next video, have a blessed Monday. And I'll see you guys on the next video if it's God's will. Peace. I love you. And amen. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you like